Hey, if you want to talk about hockey towns, the conversation ends with Moore Road, Minnesota. Seven Olympians, five NHL players, and over 80 D1 players. You cannot compete with those numbers. I, how is this even possible? The emphasis on this town must be on hockey. Warroad is located six miles from Canada. So we're, we're not close to anything. The Ojibwe were in a big migration into this area. Once the Sioux found out, we started warring with them, and uh, that's how Warroad got its name. There was a war trail here that led to the west, and we call it Kabekanam. Well, we have a legacy that goes back a really long time. No entertainment, show hall, nothing for people to do except go to hockey games. All outdoors, 40 below zero, wind chill probably. We didn't have wind chill, though, thank goodness and we'd stand on the banks and look down on the hockey. All the kids played, everybody played. You know, hockey is basically a way of life for, for everybody up here. You know, I, I hear people say that there's more life than hockey. Not in the world. Every United States men's gold-winning hockey team has had a player from World Minnesota on it. Well, the sign says hockey town. Come early, stay late, and skate every day. Well, one of the things that we offer here is unlimited ice time. Hockey's basically free here, and it's a good place to be if you have multiple kids playing. Kids in World, they start at a very young age. You know, as soon as they can walk, they're on the ice. But that's one of the things that I like to really keep track of is how many of those kids have taken the opportunity, developed their talent, and went on to play after high school. There's been just so many of them, it's, it's kind of hard to keep track of, to be honest with you. <laughs> My dad started the hockey program at North Dakota. Uncle Gordon played in 1956, won a medal, and my dad played in 1960. He also won a medal with my uncle Roger. My brother David also played in 1980 and won a medal. The three Christian brothers. Henry Boucher. Brock Nelson. TJ Oshie. Gigi Marvin. Nine girls that have played Division I and, and probably close to 70 boys that have gone on to Division I. Where we came from, nobody really gets to see you play. So it was time to move. I knew about War Road Hockey from, from my dad and how good their teams were. We came and looked at a playoff game and I said, this is where we need to bring the kids. <laughs> oh, the Gardner family, they are a perfect example of someone looking for an opportunity. So far, out of the four children, three of them have attained Division I college scholarships, and the fourth one coming might be one of the best that we've ever seen in our town. I still work uh, on the Eagle Lake First Nation and commute back and forth. Uh, so it's either Thursday night or Friday morning, I do the four hour drive to from Eagle Lake to War Road. So I'm on the road a lot, but uh, it's worth it. Our first year was 2005, and it, it wasn't always like it is now. It was actually much smaller, and the plan was never to have this, but it just kind of happened. Yeah, we use hot water, and we may not have hot showers at night, but that's okay, because we're doing this for hockey. This is our backyard rink. It's really fun. We've had a lot of good memories out here. Spent tons of hours out here. 
it's really fun out here. It's just do whatever. You can practice your moves. Just have fun. No coaches telling you what to do drills. Just have fun. We can come out here anytime we want. The backyard rink is really special to us because of all the memories that have been created out there from our boys and their friends and the lessons that they've learned and the development that has taken place uh, with Tim teaching some things and with the boys figuring things out on their own. The memories are, are plentiful. I think we have a very small group of, I would say, overly committed people that lead very well, and people follow them. That's the secret, having people that have been there. You're rubbing shoulders with someone pretty special, but you know, they're just neighbors and friends and that happen to win gold medals. I think it gives us hope knowing that it's possible coming from such a small town. The people that have come out of here have been from different generations. So the younger kids always have someone that they're like, oh, if he can do it, I can do it. My dreams are make it to the NHL, win the Stanley Cup, and win a gold medal. Well, I just want to make it to the NHL. You know, they, they see that, you know, the T.J. Oshies, the Brock Nelsons, the, the Henry Boucher's, and, you know, I said that at one point in time, they're in the, you know, very same seats that you were sitting in. tradition. Kids think that it's attainable and it's proven that it is. People move to Warroad for hockey. They build rinks in their backyard. There are a lot of hockey towns in the USA, but there's only one hockey town USA.